Now, when I first researched this computer, it said that you could use any 5500 series or 5600 series of Xeon CPUs. Well, that was wrong, in a way, at least for this system, because there's two versions of this motherboard, board, an earlier system and a later system. The earlier system, which is what this one is, has a limit on the CPU power draw. Each CPU power draw cannot draw more than 95 watts. A 5670 chip draws 95 watts. A 5680 chip draws 130. But if you notice, I said 5670 and 5680. Well, those, if you go on Intel's site, they only show those two chips. What they don't show you in that document is there is another option. And that other option is these two chips. What these two, wow, they really wrap these suckers. What these are. These are a Xeon. Just to make sure they sent me the right thing. These are 5675. And that's something that Intel didn't bother putting in the document. So, because otherwise I wouldn't have got the 5670s, I went with the 5675s. And these are 95 watts too. So, to change out the CPUs, it's amazing how easy this is. Push down and to the right, push down and to the left, lift up the retaining arms, take off the heat sink. That did get a very good spread. Lift up the CPU retention arm and frame. Take out our chip. Be very careful not to drop this back into the socket because there are the pins. They're not on there. The pins are on the socket. So this is where you have to be careful. Line up the CPU. right into place. Lower the retention bracket. Lower and lock the retention arm. Now we need our isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Clean. Clean off the old thermal paste from the heat sink. Now 
takes a little bit of uh, elbow grease. Just make sure you get it all off. I'll let that set and dry. Clean up our processors here. And we got a nice spread on that. And again, these are these are good processors, but they're 56 Oh. Yeah. I'll put a I would use a generous P size. And everybody does it different is what I use it works for me one thing that's nice again about this heat sink is it's mirrored so you're not gonna put it on wrong just put it straight down on lock that and lock that do the same thing for a second processor again got a good spread and don't be afraid to go with this Make sure you get all that old thermal paste off. And See? Thought you got it. I got it all off. There's just a little bit more. Um, I get this out of here before I go pulling the processor out of its socket. Yeah, it was awfully mean of Intel. Cut out the 5670. And not mention the not a big document. But hey, there's a 5675. That's 95 watt. It is 6 core. And is faster processor. So there we go. Uh, processor in there take off the old thermal grease compound of this processor and it goes into here and Want to make sure our processor's cleaned up. A little bit of thermal, or a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol. Lower the cage. And lower the retention arm. Now. Our heat sinks are nice and clean. So now. Thermal compound. And 
just the touch. Ah, touch. There. I wasn't entirely happy with that, so just put a little bit more. Tension arm, push it down, and to the right, this to the left. Now our heat sinks are back on. Let's yeah. start it. Okay, let's go to uh, Cinebench here. Uh, there we go. Let's run it, close this window off, and wait for it to load. Now when we first got this system it had two 50, E5520s. We got a Cinebench score of 747. Now with the two CPUs we just took out that was this one here. It's there they were an X 5670. We got a the best Cinebench score we got was 713.71. So let's run it. Well, let's uh, start the task manager. Let's see, task. Task manager, performance. Oh, I'll make it a little bigger. There we go. So, 3.3 gigahertz. Base is 3.6. See what we're going to get on this run here. And it's going to peg every one of these CPUs. 3.15. And it could be because it's not in focus, but let's see where we land. So. Look at that thing chew. 1432 Cinebench score. 1432. Let's run it without the task manager and let's have this in focus. See if we can improve on that score. And look at that thing chew. It just runs through it. 24th or yeah, 24 threads. Wow, just zzzz. Yep, same score. Fourteen thirty-eight, same exact score. Two Xeon. X5675s, 12 core, 24 thread, 1438. Thanks for watching, but part of the reason why I made this video is I was a little mad. A little bit upset, just a little bit. Because I went to as you can tell, this is Intel's website, Intel Xeon Processors 5600 Series. This is on Intel's website right now. You can go take a look at it at this, this address. It gives you, you know, this is what they do, this is what they are, this is just the technology, and um, uh, all this stuff. Quick path, turbo, four cores, six cores. All right, and then you get down to here. It tells you, okay, here's here's the processors. You know, here's the the cache, the number of cores, their power draw, and their leak frequency, and the memory speeds that they support. Do you see a fifty six seventy five? I don't. Now this is uh, 3.6 gigahertz, four cores. 
or 2.93 with 6 cores, which is what I put in. And I figured, okay, that's the most, you know, that's the, the best processor I can put in here. Well, no, it wasn't. And it's the reason is it's not listed here. And unfortunately, I don't remember how I found it. But I did, and I looked up the specs on it, and I'm like, 95 watt. You know, I, I thought initially, you know, it's probably going to be 130, but I'll take a look. So I did. Turns out it's 95 watt. I'm like, well, that will work. Had I known that, I would have put that processor in instead of this one. Because if you go here to the 5677, you'd see it's 130 watts, which that's not going to work. This uh, 5680... Again, 130 watts, it's not going to work in that system. So that's kind of my rant with Intel on the, uh, about this. But the 5675 is one heck of a, of a processor. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, get subscribed down below. If you didn't like the video, again, you know what to do. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and by the way, probably, I'm guessing here, I'll put a link to the previous video to this one.